Hello, what's up YouTube? Running Street and Ashtori and in this tutorial I want to show you how I always get that nice and beautiful glow in all my images in Photoshop and further on I'm just going to be learning how to add contour or add, how to add rather that nice and beautiful shape or contouring to your images so that they don't look flat and boring so you're just going to be transforming this image from this to this look just look at how nice and glowing the image has turned out to be and i promise this is going to be a very simple and easy to understand tutorial for you people so i'm just going to come and i'm going to delete this layer so that you can learn everything from the very start so basically in this tutorial we're going to be using curves and also adjustment layers or layer masks to eliminate the effect from the areas that we don't want to be affected in the image so we're just going to come, like I said, come to the curves adjustment layer. And now, don't make any adjustment on the curves adjustment layer, but make sure this white layer mask is selected. So after ensuring that the white layer mask is selected, we're now going to come simply right here to select and we come to color range. So when you come to this option, First of all, make sure you select sample colors right here. Make sure this is selected. And also selection mode is active and quick mask is also activated. So after doing that, make sure that localized colors or localized color clusters has also not been selected. So after ensuring that you have set those quite well and they look great, so come and get the eyedropper tool or the color picker tool and make sure the invert option is not checked. So after getting this, just come to sample size and make sure it is either 3x3 three three or 5x5 five five average. So I prefer 3x3 three three. and with the eyedropper tool selected, I'm just going to come and simply click on the area that has a highlight in the image. Remember. We just want to add a glow in specific areas for example in the highlights of the image so when you click on the highlight of the image remember we activated the quick mask mode so when you click right there it is going to be showing you a targeted area for this case which is the highlights in the image but as you click on the highlight area it is really not showing you that trend quite well so we have a, another option that says fuzziness so just come to fuzziness and take the fuzziness up and as you're doing that you're going to notice that it's going to be selecting <coughs> majority of the highlights in the skin tone so just going to take it up slightly but as you're seeing it is as well affecting the background that's why we're going to be working on that later on in the tutorial so at around 81 it looks good and when you look at the quick mask option you can see the areas that turn white are going to be the affected areas so just come and hit ok remember i told you when we are starting that you don't have to do any adjustment remember we just targeted the bright areas so we're just going to click in the middle right here and take that slider up and as you're looking at the image you're going to notice that this is going to make the skin glow but don't take don't take it rather all the way up just do a subtle adjustment so that looks good because when you turn this on and off you can see that the highlights are now glowing and the skin is adding some bit of glow so after doing that we're just going to come and do the same for the shadows come back to the curves adjustment layer <coughs> then we are going to come right down here to select and come back to our color range with the same settings this time around we're just going to target the shadows so when you click right there you can see it samples the shadows but you can play around with the fuzziness to make it a more precise selection of the shadow area and you can see the area that turns white in this quick mask mode is going to be the target area 
just come and hit OK. And now come to the midpoint and just darken that. Just look at how that is going to turn out. Just look at how dark and rich the skin is getting. So don't take it all the way down. And now we're just going to come and close this. So look at the before and the after for the shadow areas, just the before and after. And this is the before and after for the highlights. So I could come back and rename this to highlights. And I'm going to double click right here and I'm going to name that to shadow so that you don't get confused along the way. So with these two layers, when you feel like it is affecting the colors in your image, you can come to the blend mode and change it from normal to luminosity. And you can also turn this to luminosity blend mode from normal. So when you feel like you have overdone it, you can count the opacity and reduce it. But if at all you don't want it to affect, for example, the background or other areas and you don't you just want it to affect the skin tone. Just going to select both layers by holding down Ctrl Command and clicking on both layers and hit Ctrl or Command G on the keyboard to group them. And you can double click and rename that to Glow. So after naming that to Glow, you're just going to come to the layer mask icon and hold down Alternate on the keyboard. So when you hold down Alternate and you click on this layer mask icon it is going to hide the effect from affecting the overall image so meaning come to get to the brushes tool right click and get your soft round brush the hardness has to be at zero of course opacity and the flat 100 percent smoothing at zero <clears throat> but remember we just hit the effect from affecting the image so we have to make sure that we have black and white right here. So with black and white selected right here, or if at all you don't have black and white, make sure you click on these two small boxes right here. And it's going to give you black and white here. And make sure you have white on top. Or you can use X on the keyboard to toggle between black and white. Or you can use these arrow keys. So when the white one is on top, you can now come and paint through the skin just like that so that the other areas in the image for example maybe the outfit of a model and the other areas you don't want affected in the photo cannot be affected by this skin glow effect and you are only working on or affecting only the skin and making it glow or shine and this is going to really look beautiful at the end of this. So just paint only on the skin and it is going to be really non-destructive at the end of it also. Look at this and just look at the before, after, before, after. And this is how I make skin glow in Photoshop. And when you feel like it is too much, just come to opacity and reduce on the opacity but i'll leave everything to the maximum and this is it for this story and if at all you have loved this don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe if at all you are watching and you don't subscribe this channel learnings from Ronnie's photography thank you for watching and see you in yet more amazing tutorials and don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating